Yes, my people, welcome back to another episode of Where's My Podcast. Today, we're joined by another special guest. As you can see, we're in a different location again. We're actually in the location of my guy, Romeo, founder of True V. Um, yeah, Romeo, thanks for having us, bro. <laughs> 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 you know what, yeah? Romeo, you would have seen on other episodes that like, at the beginning of the episode, yeah. I basically just explained why you, the guest, yeah. are in that chair, like why I wanted to speak to you in it. Okay. So obviously, I'll give a little bit of backstory. Like when I first came across you, Romeo, you were obviously, I met you as like the Hoods Taylor, innit? Mm. And this was prior to us even starting the podcast. So I was like, it seems like Romeo's got an interesting story. Yeah. I need to chat to him simply about this. Because okay. I ain't really met no Hood Taylors yeah, before, you get me? So that yeah, piqued my interest. Yeah, yeah. Then over time, as I'm following your journey, I'm following your story and that, I'm seeing True V. I'm like, what's yeah. this? I'm seeing this logo, this T in the V. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, yo, what's this? Let me pay attention to this, you yeah. get me? So then it's like, since then, man's been follow following your journey and whatnot, really been witnessing your growth. Mm. And obviously, this is what the the third time we've tried to record something, bro. Yeah. But don't worry, bro, this one's definitely one, coming yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, I got you. <laughs> but like, obviously, bro, I've just seen you build the community from scratch. Yeah. I've seen your designs improve. I've seen you grow as a person, grow as a man. Mm. And yeah, I'm just excited to talk to you and and basically just gauge how you've done it, man. Because mm. I feel like there's a, a lot of touch points that I can think about that resonate with me about mm. your brand. Mm. I love how, how much of a community aspect it has. Mm. I love how... I was going to say African, but I don't mm. want you to make me feel like I'm putting your brand in a box, no. but like it resonates with me and I'm African mm. man. Do you get what I'm saying, mm. bro? Like I mm. love the, the vibe of it, bro. Yeah. And I love the way it looks. I love how inclusive it is of, of women and bro, it's just a sick brand, man. Yeah, it's a big up you, my man. bro. Appreciate it, man. Um, but yeah, man, only one place to start, Romeo. Like I need to start from like the beginning of your journey. Yeah. And I like asking this question because I'm always intrigued to see where you kind of pit that. So okay. take it away. It's the start. <laughs> 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 all right. Um. Well, how I started the brand um, it's all stemmed from a situation where I was at uni and I got stabbed at uni. And yeah, I got stabbed at uni. Um, trying to um, look up. There was a friend I got into a situation and I was there, kind of helped him and yeah, I ended up getting stabbed. But through that situation, just made me deep life a bit more. Mm. Especially sitting in the hospital bed, like she by herself. These times, I'd even have my phone on me. These times, because my mom wasn't trying to give me my phone, mm. trying to say, "Oh, I'm, like she just had, yeah, if you have my phone, I'm gonna do a mad, I'm gonna do a madness or revenge." Which mom's you trying to protect yeah. you? Yeah. So man, just sitting there, like, bro, I was really just in this hospital bed, mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, yeah. So, but it's just mad because then it's like. My life could have gone just like that type mm. of thing. Do you know what I mean? I could have mm. never, I could have never woken up. So I was just thinking, wow, like that's mad. That like, life is just short. Like, do you know what I mean? Just make the most of your life. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? You've got this one life, so just do the most, do what you want type of thing. So I had that like that vibe, that energy in it. So mm. just like I just want to try to push that across other people because I've got like little siblings, little cousins. I've got younger. Mm. They all look up to me type of thing. So like I'm like the oldest in my family, and like yeah. So it's like I got. A, I've got that role to just, do you know what I mean? Inspire. Yeah, to yeah. inspire type thing. So that's car that carries, I carry that with me is type thing. So even with my clothing, that's why I do a lot of things to like, to like some pieces where it's just inspiring or like mm -hmm. you can take it in and do you know what I mean? So, but from there, yeah. So I just sorry, sorry, Romy, let me, let me cut you there. Um, so obviously the incident happened mm. in a hospital bed and you're, you're thinking about what you want from life. Mm. Really. Where was fashion at this point, like, was you already doing the tailoring stuff by no, then? I wasn't doing none of that, so it's just like, but it's like, I wanted, same way I said, I wanted to inspire and stuff, but it's just like, I'm not a person to be chatting to everyone across the street, mm. just chatting and be like, hey, listen, I thought, cool, let me, I like fashion, innit? I've always liked to dress, I've always liked to, dress. That's the Congolese in yeah, that's, blame the culture. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's just like, I thought, all right, cool, let me try, I like how to just let me try put it into the clothing in it, like let me try involve it into my fashion. So it's like that's when I come up with true V, so it's like true life. So true is so it's like real life. So that from that moment that's what she wants to get. So it's like so V in French is life. So it's like mm -hmm. so true life, real life, real life situations. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So then yeah, then I came with the slogan Dream, Discover, Explore. Mm -hmm. So trying to impact, do you know what I mean? Like trying to be like 
I see it like a dream chaser. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I'm like very big with like if I was this is what I want to do. I'm really trying to go for it, and I'm not trying to go for it for temporary. I'm trying to really go for it for a long term type thing. So it's like yeah, just trying to dream, trying to explore into it, and really trying to discover while you're exploring as well, mm-hmm. trying to make the pieces bring the pieces together and make it work time fix so mm. yeah man so that's where it started yeah, yeah that's, that's where it you started know, and still. everything you're saying Romeo, i can see that because as i was saying at the beginning of the conversation that mm. the brand gives me that vibe man yeah. it's a community and it's it seems like it stands for something positive yeah, man i wanted to ask so obviously you went through the incident you're in the hospital bed mm. you're like you know what let me start this brand you came up with a name you mm. came up with a slogan and whatnot where did you go from there though because obviously like um, you can't just Click your fingers yeah. and you've got this. Do you get you what I'm saying? What? I, start, I started off with t-shirts. Okay. Started a t-shirt, simple, with my logo on it. Nah, even then I was gassed. I had for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're starting something, you're just gassed. For but um, I had like my first t-shirt. I think I started off with like 50. I feel like I even have the snap of when I started and everything. Mm. I was gassed. Wait, so. what year was this? Like 2016. 2017. Okay. So like third year uni. Yeah, because I got stabbed in my second year uni, so I kind of missed that summer, mm. and I came into my third year. So it's like December, November, December oh, time. Early when, third year. Yeah. Basically. So that's when I was like, all right, cool, this is what I'm trying to do, type yeah. thing. So yeah, so I started off from t-shirts, just going around, and I was the type of person that I was doing deliveries, so like people, I would literally drive to them. So even from uni, I'll drive from, I used to go to Hertfordshire, mm-hmm. so I'd be going from Hertfordshire to like London to do deliveries, to like, yeah. And back like, and forth. Back and forth every day, like. From my snaps, a lot of people, if you had me from snap, from when I started, everyone knows I do drop-offs. I was doing drop-offs every day. Mm. I was just making sure, yeah, because it's just, it was just like, when people were seeing it, other people buying it and stuff, people were more intrigued and stuff. Mm. So just trying to build the brand, trying to get the awareness going on. But yeah. Stuff. Really hustling out the chunk. Literally. <laughs> you know, I find um, interesting about that, Romeo, yeah? Because like, mm. I've spoken to other designers who mm. have said, like, people have seen their mm. designs or whatever, mm. and it's made other people want it. Mm. And the reason I find that interesting is because when you're in those primitive, like early stages, mm. you haven't built up a brand right, to the point yeah. where people are buying it because mm. of what it stands for. Yeah. They're buying it because of what it looks like. Yeah. So what do you think it was about your clothes that kind of made it stand out to other people? Um, I don't even know, you know. Well, I feel like the logo is just clean in mm. general. Like, it was just clean and it just, I don't know, I was just... I was just trying to get as much people around and back then at uni, I was doing like parties as well. Mm. So it's like, yeah, I've known for a lot of parties. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like, I was just getting about and then like, I've always been a person to like, just always meet new people, mm-hmm. always build relationship, um, networks, always stay connected with a lot of people. So it's just like, even from now, I'm still always trying to build new relationships, new connections. Um but yeah, I feel like from then, and I just feel like I was just constantly doing it. So the moment it's just constantly there, it's just it's just in your face type thing. So I feel like that as well, maybe. But yeah, mm. I'm not too sure to me. So it could have been a thing where, because you were like a figure mm. in Hertfordshire, obviously mm. throwing the parties and whatnot. Mm. So people wanted to support. I didn't even see a figure though. So what would you say then? Because I feel like I hear th- it. people know them guys in uni that throw the party. I just wouldn't want to just take the figure. Oh, <laughs> Roll, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, nah, definitely because it's like, because even from Hertfordshire, it was like, I feel like I was traveling more to London first than Hertfordshire mm. really and truly. So that's why I wouldn't. I get what you mean. That's yeah. What you yeah, yeah. You wouldn't attribute the growth of the brand yeah. to, the, to like the Hertfordshire sphere yeah, as well. Because okay. they kind of caught up into it a bit afterwards when I started doing the tracksuits. Because mm. I was more in then, do you know what I mean? That was more like, right, everyone started seeing it. Everyone's like, right, okay, yeah, like, okay trying to yeah. get into this stuff, yeah. Do you know what, Romeo, yeah? Obviously, you said you just started off with the T-shirts and whatnot. Mm. But even then, I think there's a little, there's something we can learn from that, like... Mm. Like, where did you get the t-shirts from? Were they Gildan t-shirts? How did you get them yeah, printed? Like, what were, was that process like? Were, and how did you know how to do it? I didn't know how to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to do nothing. It's just, you know, when you just, I just wanted to do something. I just wanted to do it. And do you know when you want to do something, you just got to do it. And it's just, it's a learning thing. Like, every day, even till now, I'm still learning. There's things, I'm not perfect at nothing. It's just, do you know what I mean? So, it's, it's mad because I started off with Gildan. Got and these times I thought, yeah, this is this is, right. <laughs> this is what do you know what I mean? And these times I don't know much about it, but I just know cool. And then I had to just looking around different, um, trying to find out 
how who can print them, hitting mm. up different places, googling different things. Found uh, one place in London, so I went there, got the printed. And I was like, okay, and, and type thing. So started that, and then it's like, right, cool. Now I've got it. Like, mm. Now it's just time to hit the worlds and really make it happen or really start something. So yeah, it's mad still. Mm. I like what you said there, though. Mm. Like. The fact that you can't even look back and be like, you know what, I did this, this and that. Yeah. It's more so the fact that you knew you wanted to do something. Yeah. And because you're driven, when yeah. you want to do something, you're, you're just going to make it happen. Yeah, really. just have to make it happen, man. Mm. Especially, yeah, I have to make it happen. I just yeah. felt like that just meant a lot for me already. The brand and how it started. Even just think about it after getting stabbed and just, you know what I mean? It's just like, why did I even think about it? Like, yeah, why like, did I even, do you know what I mean? Just that's, random. Romeo, that's what I'm trying to get at though, because that's why I had to ask was fashion. Mm part of your story before mm. then or like did it literally just start at that mm. point like I you said like, yourself i want to do something good yeah. and i feel like i can do it in fashion so let me do it in fashion yeah i feel like but it's like i know i feel like when i was in school i've always wanted to have a brand okay i feel like that as well kind of played a role in it i really wanted to have a brand but i just never had a reason to start a brand mm. and i feel like that was the reason for me to start it I thought that that must be sounds sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, so it was almost as if because you went through a situation where you obviously nearly mm. lost your life. It was mm. a sign that you know what? Let me let me do something bigger yeah, than myself. Like, sort yeah, of. yeah, I feel like because it gave more meaning to my brand as well for me to do it more rather than me just doing a brand and for the peas or something. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. So obviously, early doors, you're young and whatnot, mm. um, hustling out of the trunk and whatnot. Yeah, I feel like. During those times, it must be difficult, not necessarily to keep going, but to realise what you have, because obviously it's not like you're making X yeah, thousands of pounds yeah, off of this stuff. Yeah. Like, when would you say was the point where you realised, you know, like, I really have something here that I can, that can do the things I want it to do for my life and inspire people the way I want to inspire people? Um, I feel like there was a point where I started, I started with t-shirts then I done jumpers, but it was like simple logo, I had the written trivi on the sleeve. So started off with that. And then it's when I was going to the track series, I was getting a bit more attention because I was getting mm. attention from the uni. So I, was, I had an all black track suit. And yeah, and then I done like a post. I literally had a friend of mine come, literally t- took a video on my phone mm. and literally just posted up. She literally in the garden, did a 360. Mm. And like bare people just like, bro, I want, I'm just thinking, <laughs> you were expecting that. Okay, like, there's people really asking for this, and it's like, raw, cool. Walking around uni, and people are like, raw, like, when you drop mm. it, it's like, oh shit, like, and all, all now, this is a one of one, basically. Yeah, like, just, yeah, this was just a sample. I'm yeah. just, you know what I mean, I'm just, I'm at a point where, alright, cool, let me just try some things out. Do you know what I mean? That like, because I started with a teacher, I started a jump. I was like, next thing really is that tracksuit. That's mm. next. no, I've done hats before tracksuit to be honest. But yeah, so and that was the first time doing something abroad did you do that no not going abroad but like getting oh, a supplier abroad, oh, okay. do you know what okay. i mean because it, it was i was mostly working with uk suppliers so and even the challenges of that is just i was gonna different. say yeah it's like, do you know what I mean? it's like a, it's like you learn a whole new thing like, do so what, 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 what was what what was that experience like then that like, is just even because at first it's like just learning the time difference as well as well like but luckily i'm a person that i'm always working at night Mm. It's more quiet and it's less distractions, you know what I mean? So, and especially at youth times, I was doing most of my full circuit at night. So, kind of worked hand in hand, but even to that, getting a grasp of all of that, it was just, yeah, man, it's it was a tough. Whole yeah. How was you able to kind of kind of balance it with the uni stuff? Like, um, to be fair, I don't know, I was just joking. Everything I do, I just make it work, to be honest. It's like, but uni. Kind of, I won't lie, I wasn't really into uni like that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I had to do it. And it's like, my third year uni was, I had way more pressure on my third year uni because I had, I was I got stabbed. Mm. I had extra courses on my third year. Damn, so you just Because I didn't want to do the whole, I wasn't trying to stay. I was like, yeah, no. let me just let me finish. Just get, yeah, because yeah, they were trying to say, wait a bit until you recover. I'm just, even my parents, they don't want, want me to go back to uni. And I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to run away from this uni now. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so obviously I had to go back. I said, let me just finish it. And then, yeah, then I'm cool. Mm. But yeah, it was, it was mad still, but just trying to make it work really and truly. Mm. And it's like, 
at uni, I was learning business and marketing anyway. Oh, so those things yeah. tied into the brand and whatnot. Funny enough, it kind of does. I don't really see it, but it must do. Yeah. It must do some way because a lot of marketing is definitely needed within the brand. Still. And this is kind of going to take the conversation forward and I'm going to mm. take us back. But mm. I think it has because I even remember the last time we linked up when we was mm. in the other studio mm. and we were just talking about, I think I brought up your marketing mm. and how I love the campaigns oh, you okay. do. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. quite... I don't know if quirky is the right word, but yeah. they're quite out there in the yeah. sense that you tend to have like catchphrases for the, for yeah. the like yeah. even, or sometimes they can even be a bit provocative. Like yeah. I see, the, <laughs> I was just looking on my phone at the noir uh, the love noir shoot. Love, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got obviously people doing the little positions yeah. and that. Like, yeah. like this is marketing. So yeah. clearly you have an understanding yeah. of that. Like this is, again, this is taking the conversation forward, but how much do you think the creative marketing you've been doing has helped with the growth of the brand. I feel like it definitely because I get a lot of people that always say, "Yeah, your thing really stands out," or "It's really different," or like when I hear that, it's like, "Cool, I must be doing the right thing." Because mm. I'm not trying to be the same as it don't make sense. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Especially oh. nowadays, there's so many brands. <laughs> yeah, what? There's yeah. brands. There's probably a brand starting today. <laughs> <laughs> this moment, like, right now. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? So. If you're going out there, you have to be different. Yeah, you have to be different to be noticed, at least. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have to stand if out. You're all, if it's all the same thing, then it's just like it's What's not the point, really eye really? yeah. catching about it or nothing. Do you know what I mean? Facts. Mm. And as I said, we're gonna go back here. Yeah? So obviously, you graduated from uni now. Yeah. What happens after that? Because you've you've built up the brand and that yeah. naturally, I'm sure you want to continue with it, but you yeah. also have to think about damn, that man yeah. needs a job, like yeah. <laughs> you that's, get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's mad. Because then, yeah, so I've left uni. Um, so at least I'm working in the betting shop because it's like I went to for like a grad job mm. like an, where I had like an office job. I was there for a week and I said, I can't do you this. can't do this. Your it's, brain's too active for that. It's not me. But <laughs> <laughs> it is not me. I'm so sorry. If you're in it, that's yeah. But me, I can't do it. Mm. So, and it's mad. So I was working because it's like, yeah, my clothing, my clothing I was getting around and stuff. I was doing shoots and stuff, but it's just like, there's so much life things going on at the same time. It's just, mm. it's crazy. Like, do you know what I mean? We, especially when you're doing something and I was like, but now I'm just doing it on my own and it's just like, there's just a lot. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like, just trying to find a balance. Um, it was hard maintaining it because it's like, you have to try to get the funds for it to make, mm. to make it work. And it was just, it's just a lot of back and forth. And then when you're getting suppliers sending you stuff and it's not to the quality you want, mm. it's just like, that's just a waste of money. And then it's just like, I've had, put, um, so I send me stuff and it's just like, they've sent me a sample, it's cool. It's come to the bulk now, they send it to me. Mm. It's not the same quality. And it's like, I spent all that money and it's just like, I'm bare working hard here. And mm. it's like, what am I meant to do? Cause yeah. it's like, I'm not, I don't want to sell, be selling products that are not good. Cause then that's just affecting the brand. So just 100%. like, what's the point doing that? So it's just like, I'll be taking L's like that. And then like, you obviously, I'm not out here telling people I'm taking, do you know what I mean? But it's yeah. just like, things like that mentally it's mad it's tough though. yeah because it's tough go going into it did you expect to experience things like that no I, I thought doing a clothes line is easy what I'm so happy you what? said that yeah and no. that's even part of the reason why we started this platform because I feel like part of education is is showing people the reality yeah. of stuff in it yeah 100% what I thought first year give me one year that's and you thought I, you would be gone. Give me one year, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate. <laughs> I'm six years in. <laughs> and I was still working. But yeah, no, nah, it's growth, though. It's growth still. And I feel like it's needed, though, man. It's definitely not a one year thing. Especially definitely not. When, especially if you're trying to do it long term. It's definitely not a one year thing. This is what thing. I'm saying. Yeah. And speaking of like long term vision or whatnot, like, mm. I like hearing stories about people having like, developed a brand from that university and whatnot. Mm. And often it can come from going through certain things or thinking, you know what, like, I want my brand to stand for this. Mm. But then over time, as the brand grows, as you grow as a person, mm. you start to realise that your brand kind of has to do, has to kind of stand for more. Mm. And to build like a long lasting brand, mm. it can't just be based on that like, one thing or something like mm. that, or mm. the mm. same person you were in uni. Mm. So mm. how do you feel like the kind of, the true v, the true V brand mm. has like developed since then. Um, it's definitely developed a lot still. It's definitely it's like since then. I feel like I don't know. 
I wouldn't know how to word what he did. <laughs> it's more of like a feeling more than anything. Yeah, it's just it's just mad because it's like there's times where I don't you wouldn't even notice the growth because it's gone so quick. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So even now, just like right, even if I was to think about it, because I don't, I'm so into it now. I don't really take time to sit back and just see. Mm-hmm. Like even having conversations making me think back and think, oh, right, really, like, mm-hmm. damn, like, do you know what I mean? Like I've done all of this and that, but. I'll say Defo getting this office space mm. Defo made me realise the growth. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I never thought I'd be seeing myself do this. Do yeah. I mean? Nah, jump. Obviously, you always think long term, but when you actually do it, you take it in more. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a different it's, feeling. Yeah, you take it in way more because it's like, well, this is really this is really happening now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is the, this is, yeah. So, yeah, yeah man. I'm happy you brought that up because obviously having seen you in like I've seen you in three different environments now yeah. so obviously the first time was at that party when yeah. we were, <laughs> did the content at the TV party that party was wavy the Jersey party yeah. and then the next time was obviously where the, the Wednesday pop up yeah, shop, the pop-up shop yeah. and then now like you've literally got a space that yeah. yours yeah. you can be here whenever you want like, yeah. like it's big you've got yeah. the stock in there like yeah. that's real progression you yeah. get what I'm saying so yeah big up you I just want to say oh, I'm proud of you and I'm happy that I've been able to like witness yeah, that see, growth do you know what I'm saying mad so crazy one year you know i thought that's <laughs> mad bro that's mad like deep you're six years in but yeah. your brand is developing yeah. sales going up yeah. concepts are going up yeah. the marketing's changing like yeah. bro you're you're it's where you deserve to be right now yeah. because of the hard work you're putting in do you know what i'm saying yeah i appreciate it now for real for yeah. real makes a lot of sense so like i'm trying to think like one thing you mentioned before about um the party aspect of things and before yeah. we got onto the camp before we got on camera i was telling yeah. you how i wanted to to speak about that yeah. because i was watching a jerry lorenzo interview yeah mm. and he was basically talking well long story short jerry lorenzo before he started doing fashion he was like organizing parties for like a lot of the quote-unquote fashion guys in la in it okay. and then he was basically saying that the reason he got into fashion is because he clocked that they were the ones that had the money. Yeah. He was like, he was like, fuck it. If they could do it, yeah, I can do it, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reason I'm telling the story is not because of that, but more so because he talks about how him organizing parties mm. basically showed him like how to like build a community, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So my question to you is like, mm. what sort of, because I see I got you thinking, yeah. innit? Like, what sort of like, positives have because you doing the parties up until now yeah. till now and i know you had yeah. another one not too long ago like yeah. how does running the parties and stuff like influence your brand and what would you say the things you've done the things what would you say the things you've learned from that are mm. i feel like well yeah i could definitely take in what you've just said because it's made me think of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but um yeah no because even until now like i make sure i do pop-ups i do a lot of pop-ups so I like to bring people together, bring mm. people around. So, and I feel like pop ups and parties is where you can get the most out of people, bringing them around, getting mm. the vibes, getting people getting to know. And especially how the brand is, the community is like, it's way bigger than I even know or I even think of. There's way more people that actually know about it than I even think of, or what's mm. on socials or what's not. And then, when the, even I've done a pop up, summer pop up, and I've done like a, and even my pop up, I don't make sure it's just a normal pop up, I make sure pop-ups look like even other the pop-up I've done was a summer it was a barbecue the barbecue well. yeah yeah, yeah do you know what I mean so I even had free the barbecue just bringing the vibes so I was bringing everyone around so just like even people I was like it's like I put a space where even people are able to network and mm. chat amongst each other and do you know what I mean because mm-hmm. in this world like especially if you have a community and the way like I like to inspire people I like to always give opportunities out as well mm. do you know what I mean so I'm just naturally doing it. So, mm. yeah, man. It's just mad. It's just, yeah, I feel like free pop ups and just building the community, keeping them, like, keeping the community. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Even I'm still, I'm not saying I have the best, trying to hold them the best, but there's still ways I'm trying to learn on and improve. But it's just, gotta give me time, guys. Yeah, <laughs> but, no, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's a growth yeah. thing. But, no, I feel like having a good community is really what's gonna take your brand will make your brand really and yeah. truly yeah no, facts and i definitely think whether people like it or not yeah. that's really where fashion's yeah. growing like particularly with gen z's or whatever yeah. you want to call them and below that like, people really buy into what your brand stands yeah. for what it means and part yeah. of that is is wanting to feel part of a community yeah. innit? and what i do like about your brand is that bro i don't know if i've messaged you about this before but i see your brand quite a lot you know okay. and it's like 
when I see people wearing it, like, mm. it's almost as if there's a bit of camaraderie there. Like, oh, okay. let's say there's been times where I'm wearing the bag or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know the bag you gave yeah. me? Freebie. Yeah, you said Romeo gave me a freebie. Like, <laughs> where's my other freebie? Like, <laughs> <laughs> <But> anyway, <yeah. laughs> when I wear that bag, Romeo, yeah. yeah. There's been times that people have come up to me and be like, yo, is that Juvie? And I'm yeah, like, yeah, that's Juvie. Yeah, Do you get it? Like, yeah, there's a feeling there. Yeah, like, And I feel like there's like so it. much. I like that. Bro, there's so much value that, in that, bro. People say that a lot. When people come up to me, they say something. They're like, I oh, respect it. Or like, they have that. Do you know what I mean? I love that. Guys, please continue this. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we are, bro. We're trying to push out good energy. That's literally strictly nah, good energy. And, and you're you're, you're definitely doing that. And I think it's testament to the type of person you are. Mm. And this kind of leads me on to, to like, Another question that I think I even mentioned off camera as well. Like, mm. one thing I like about True V is that it has a life of its own. Mm. Don't get me wrong, mm. but I feel like you're integral to it as mm. well. But you do strike a, a good balance in the sense that yeah. a lot of people can know of the brand and yeah. not know it's you. Yeah. But when people do know it's you, they mm. want to buy into the brand yeah. even more, innit? Yeah. So, this is just me like asking your opinion. Mm. Do you think it's important for like designers to be not necessarily the face of their brand? Because I'm not saying you are, mm. but like, have their own personal brand to almost help the actual brand, yeah. if that makes sense. I feel like it definitely, because there's even people like within the team who, like, I feel like, because it's been growing, because I've got like members as well, who's, when they rock their clothing, they've mm. got their own personality, they've got their own growth, they're doing their own thing. It's like, it's just crazy. It's just, I don't even know how to explain it. But I feel like it's definitely important, because it's like, especially if that's what you're creating, mm. you should always be pushing what you're creating. There should be there's no there's no person there's no rule that says you shouldn't promote or do you know what I mean like mm. that's that's you that should be your everyday yeah that's do you know what I mean I'm gonna push because that's what I'm doing mm -hmm. so you gotta let the whole world know so everyone needs to understand that's what you're doing type thing so um yeah man I don't know you don't really have to be the main face because even sometimes when people come up to me and ask oh what's that and that sometimes they say oh yeah just check out the brand <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> you know what I mean brand, yeah, just yeah. check out the brand just see you on the gram and that <laughs> but like. Yeah, man, definitely push it. Well, especially on me on my, if you have me on Snapchat, you'll see like I like to show like some of the like behind the scenes of yeah, the brand the as well. Do you know what I mean yeah. the process as well? Because I get a lot of people now that hits me up or be like, oh, mm. I actually learn a lot from you and from what. Do you know what I mean? And mm. if I'm able to do that, I'm gonna carry on doing that. Do you know what I mean? Because you know I mean? there's in this life, this life is short in it. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So. I can only be here as long as I can, in it. You know what I mean? Do you know what I find interesting about that, Romeo? Yeah, um, the fact you're saying that obviously, if it's your brand, mm. like you should want to push it, like yeah. you should kind of push it every yeah. day. Not to say I see people that don't do that, yeah. but obviously, having started the brand yourself, yeah. like, what are the sort of reasons why people wouldn't do that? I don't know. I don't really know. You know, because I know it's a lot. Of, so a lot of people don't do it, mm. but they store their brand still around and stuff. But it's just like. You doing that is just gonna push it more. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's just like it's just. I guess it's just marketing, really and truly. True. Do you know what I mean? The more consistency in their face, the more it's people are gonna remember it. It's gonna be stuck and it's gonna you gonna drill it into their head type mm. thing. Do you know what I mean? Because mm, 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 mm. let's say you post one time, the next time you post like two weeks, on, no one's gonna forget when you posted. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? If I'm posting every day, you'll be like, yeah, he's that's yeah. what he's posting. Yeah. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But yeah. you might. Do you know what I mean? Some people might take it. Some people might. Be like, oh my gosh, but. You're still gonna see it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it doesn't matter what, as long as you see it and you know it. Yeah. It's brand awareness, isn't it? <laughs> That's such a good insight because you're basically saying, yeah. So what if yeah. I'm like, so what if I'm posting it every day and you may think, oh, yeah. why is he doing that every I mean, day? You see that posting every day, but look at the growth every day now. Yeah. For real. For real. For real. So you know it's like, mean? forget about yeah. what response you may get see, to that. Just when do you're it. Commenters, don't care what other people got to say or got to think. Like yeah. legit. Like if you do that. You're gonna keep. You're gonna just stop yourself from progressing in life. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're really gonna stop them because if you want to do something, then this is go for it. Like other people's opinion. Yeah, you can take people's opinions and stuff, but there's a certain extent you can take people's opinions. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Really and truly, at the end of the day, you're the one doing all the work. It's you at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Right. They say opinion, but they're gone. They do their thing. Yeah, we're still in your shoe doing your. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah, man. Speaking of the opinions, Romeo, this has got me thinking of something else here. Yeah? Mm. Like, it's one of them ones where, obviously, I don't have my own clothing brand, mm. but I have this alongside with mm. Sean and Gable, in it? So mm. it's a brand. Mm. So when it comes to the people I listen to, mm. we listen to each other. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So when people have something to say, although I may value their opinion, 
sometimes mm. I'm like, bro, but you're not in this, so you yeah, don't get it. Yeah. So as a designer, like, how do you kind of know who to listen to? Um, if it just makes sense to you, I just guess me mm. more time is like, if it feels right and it makes sense to me, then it makes sense. But mm. some people, I feel like you will know if it makes sense to you or not, because you mm. will know where you're at. Do you know what I mean? So mm. when you, like when you have a conversation with someone, you know if what type of conversation it is. You know when you're taking the conversation. Do you know what I mean? It's like how can I explain it? Yeah, you just know when you're having a chat with someone. Yeah, and you're proper into the chat. Then you know. You know <laughs> okay. this is a serious chat. Yeah. <laughs> but when you chat with someone, it's like you're fifty fifty, and you're uh, just like I yeah, don't know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about. It's yeah, like, yeah. not gonna take it in. True. Do you know what I mean? It's only you're only gonna take it in if it makes sense to you. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason I ask that is because obviously. We're in the studio, yeah. so like I'm looking at the stuff like, wow, this yeah. is crazy, da, 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 da. and you're telling me, bro, they're just samples, yeah. and I'm like, but bro, this looks nuts and <laughs> that. So, yeah. <laughs> so nah, the reason the reason I ask that is okay. because like there's gonna be situations where you're gonna come across people or whatever mm. that will tell you that something's good enough and whatnot, mm. but then you have your own idea of what you yeah. want something to look like and whatnot. Yeah. So how do you kind of know when to just stick with what you know? Rather than taking the like advice or the yeah. opinion of someone like me, for example, I feel like it just depends what it is or what the moment is, really and truly. Because there's times where I don't even know what I'm doing, mm. and I just thought, cool, let me just ask people's opinion or let me ask around. Do you know what I mean, let mm. me get like feedback or let me get like a group of people. It's like research, you know, get a survey True. going up, get the receipt with the response, and be like, all right, cool. If people are feeling it, then it's making sense. If people mm. are not feeling it, then something's wrong. So, because I'm feeding to the audience, so I'm I'm selling to the audience. So mm. I gotta make sure they're happy with what's coming out or what they're getting. Mm. You know what I mean? If I'm not doing that, so I could be doing things my way and my way. Mm. But if no one's buying it, then it's like so true. What am I really doing? Type of things. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like trying to find the balance, and it? it's hard. But it's just trying to find the balance, really yeah. and truly. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that feedback you're mentioning, yeah, I think that's also an important thing to talk about. And mm. I had a similar conversation with. Um, someone else that was on the podcast in mm. terms of how you can kind of get feedback from your customers and mm. like a, a, I don't I don't know if pure is isn't maybe the best word to put it but mm. in a way that makes sense mm. like mm. like how do you kind of I don't know if test is the right word either but yeah how do you get feedback from your audience like how do you know what they want um I guess I feel like most of my audience now is just grown from Snapchat because that's where I've had my brand I've started from Snap always been obviously I use more but that I use that the most and I feel like I engage more with people on Snapchat like you have proper conversations yeah because yeah I'll be posting people like I'll post a piece up and I'll be like what do you think or do you know what I mean or just as a little preview and then yeah. from then I'll be able to see the response or if people are feeling it or not like my new track suit that I've got coming out I got a brazy response. Yeah, <laughs> I was even gonna bring that up. I was just thinking, all right, cool. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what I'm dropping next. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's just like, yeah, man. Yeah. Do you know? I, um, as you were talking about, I was about to say because I remember when you uploaded that track. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, it's like it was different yeah. for what you've done so yeah, far, but it made sense yeah. though. You get that's it. What I'm saying. And then I liked how you was like, "Rare, like, how much do you think I should charge yeah, for this?" And you got some saying. <laughs> saying, <laughs> saying three bills in that, yeah. and next person saying one eighty yeah. in that, and it's like. I'm happy we spoke about this because yeah. I think that's a really good insight for the listeners mm. in the sense that when you are speaking to your customers, it doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be like too serious. Yeah, it like, doesn't have to, well, you don't have to be serious. Do you know what I mean? But like, especially me, I'm just more chilled. I'm always chilled, laid back. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, so yeah, man, it's just engaging with them at mm. the end of the day. They're buying your products. Like, why are you not cool? There's people are just bare, mm. stush and stingy. It's like, mm. I'm not gonna buy from someone that's moving like that. Do you know what's interesting about that as well, though, Romeo? Yeah. Mm. sometimes I feel like people kind of even maybe try to make that their brand like mm. they try to put like a distance between them and their audience community consumer mm. to kind of put themselves on a pedestal so mm. it's like people want to wear their stuff mm. because they kind of want to be like that person mm. Mm. rather than like next to that person yeah. if that makes sense whereas you're somebody where it's like yeah. man want to be your friend you yeah, get it like you're cool calm. brother yeah, yeah you're calm bro more time people see me on the road I'm chill like, as well I say hello to everyone <laughs> you're good vibes like <laughs> yeah literally straight yeah. good vibes that's that's all I try to project good vibes good energy yeah. bro. I'm telling you it's yeah. life short yeah. yeah you don't want to be doing shit and regretting it later that's down the line no, neg you. no negativity man. Yeah, man and I think it's good that um, we're speaking about you now 
just one thing I've noticed about you, and it's obviously testament to the type of person you mm. are. You're really good at like building relationships. Mm. Like I remember there was one time, obviously because I've got your Snapchat, yeah. I see stuff and I just <laughs> laugh. Like, I remember there was one time you was at like an event. Uh, I don't know where it was, but it was. I can't remember what type of event it was, but you spoke about. Um, yeah, I'm about to network at this yeah, event, boy. Like, yeah. I remember you saying that, and I was like, yeah, yeah that's exactly how you should think, Romeo. Yeah, like, yeah. how important do you feel like your ability to kind of create connections with yeah. people? has been to like the growth of your brand it's important but it's important like i always say mention networking is mm. so key like it's so networking can open so many doors without you even knowing because mm. it just becomes a one phone call or it becomes a if you're down the road and someone sees you and seems to know that you know someone mm. it's, it's just mutual straight away do you know what i mean mm-hmm. and that's just literally from networking then it's just like you don't know like because to me now like i've been always networking so i know people that have money i know people who don't have money and it's just like i could be in, i can go anywhere type thing mm. and not feel a type of way or do you know what i mean or i'm always gonna know someone's gooch i'm always gooch mm. with everyone around me but especially brand wise or if you're trying to get to a place i mean i'm trying to get i'm trying to go far so to clear <laughs> i'm trying to be networking with all the big boys <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. at the same time so it's like Bro, your net worth is really your net worth at the, mm. at the same because it's like I could have no money, but the people around me that all have money or mm. do you know what I mean? They just make me look like I have money. No, facts, <laughs> facts, facts. Do you know what I mean? And it's just do you know what I mean? And I'm cool with these people. And then if I ever wanted to say them, depending on how you network with them, yeah, it's just a phone call away. Yeah. There's people on my contact list, I can just it's just a phone call now, do you know what I mean? Whereas yeah. Even from like to that networking to that samples and things, I used to do all the email route, all the fuck. Mm. But now it's just a phone call, like, do you know what I mean? Or we just jump on FaceTime or we have a call. It's Simple as that. It's easier, do you know what I mean? And it's yeah. when you're building that relationship, it's just, do you know what I mean? It brings, there's, per, there's perks and benefits with it as well, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you're cool with someone and you have that relationship, it's way more easier to get things done, do you mm. know what I mean? It's not like there's no. Yeah, just just no extra. There's no extra headache with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I hear it. So would you say that's part of the reason why you've been able to get like certain people in your clothes and have your uh, clothes yes, in certain places? Because I see the um the Fivio Foreign thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you was was you with him? Yeah, so how did that happen? Like, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What? Well, um, I got plugged in still. Um, so how I always network. Um, mm. there's one guy that I know. Um. He plugged me up. He wants to call me up. He's like, bro, um, things that I'm going to be with, thing, thing, thing. Mm. So, bro, slide through. <laughs> Simple as that. That's like, then that's from networking. <laughs> so, what was your, when he was like, slide through, like, yeah. what like what goes through your head? Like, slide what's your, through. what happens from there? Do you know what I mean? Um, I'll just come through and just, I mean, network. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'll just try and make as much. And because, um, yeah, I'll just try and make it make sense, really and mm. truly, because I know what I'm here for at the end of the day as well, do you know what I mean? So I'm trying to promote my brand. I'm trying to let as much people as, um, know about the brand as possible. Mm-hmm. And he's, um, very foreign, he's got a major platform and he's 100%. And, and I rate his music. So it's like, right, at the same time, I'm meeting someone I rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's lit still. Yeah. And that's from networking. And if I didn't know that person, I would have never met him. Yeah. See how it goes. <laughs> no, I, find those, I find those things, you know what I mean? I find those things so interesting because it, to me, I love like the crossovers between fashion and music. Yeah. yeah. And it reminds me of how obviously when rappers um would see other rappers, yeah. bigger rappers, yeah. and they'll like spit to them or something yeah. or drop them a CD yeah. or something like that. And it's interesting because there'll be points where people from the outside looking in or people that were already established at mm. that point would look at that artist like, Mwah. You get it, like, yeah, depending yeah. on the type of person they are. Yeah, but yeah. then deep, that's that's Kanye West, bro. Yeah, like, he was that guy that would spit for anyone. Yeah, and now, yeah. well, he yeah. was one of the biggest artists. Well, he's one of the biggest artists the world has yeah. ever seen because he had that 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 belief in himself mm. and that bravery to do that. He yeah, didn't really care what people yeah. were going to think about him. That's what it is. So I love it when I hear stories of is, people man. with brands, you know, getting a, a plug from somewhere like you know what let me just bring them a tracksuit bring yeah. them a hat bring them this bring them that and you never know what can happen yeah, for bro, you, bro. the worst they can do is say no bro that's not gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> that is not gonna kill you <laughs> that. do you know what i mean because yeah. there's gonna be someone else that's gonna say yeah facts if you're gonna stop at that no then what's the point of you trying to do anything facts <laughs> facts and speaking of connection building i think this is also a good a good segue to speak about your hoods taylor mm. stuff because from the outside looking in, it seems as though that's been a really good way of you mm. 
meeting particular people yeah, and yeah. then introducing them to the True right, V brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just kind of wanted to speak about the Hood Taylor journey mm. as well, because again, that was my entry point into you. And I just mm. found that so interesting, bro. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was this, some, one of the sickest things I've ever seen. Because <laughs> yeah. the way you branded yourself as like, obviously tailoring usually we associate that with girls, but really yeah, and truly, yeah. a lot of the tailors I know are like, yeah. Man grown that, men, yeah, like just grown men, yeah, yeah, like it's just a whole different era. <laughs> um, that journey, so cool. So my family's always my mom's a tailor, my uncle's a tailor. I've been grew up to tailoring in it. Mm. So like, even from young, I mean, I started sewing age of seven, but then growing up in the area, I'm not going around telling people, <laughs> 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 so especially yeah. around Amanda. Like obviously, Amanda, my that was close to me. They knew, but it's just like. Do you know when everyone around you is doing kicking ball or playing yeah. music? So I thought, let me just stick with the ball route because it's like, I'm not trying to be laughed at in school mm, or, mm. do you know what I mean? It's not really a common thing. So I don't feel mm. like people are going like, to get it. Even myself, I didn't get it. I just thought, I ain't doing that. <laughs> that mm. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, yeah, but I just like, I used to do like a bit of tailoring, but for myself or people close around me, but it just kept on minimized. That it wasn't really a thing that, that was mm. promoting. But it was like, yeah, so it was like, that's when I get into three weeks. It's like, mm. after I left uni and from that job, was that, I was working at a betting shop. Mm. So I was thinking like, well, I'm not trying to stay in this Because yeah. obviously, yeah, so there was a colleague that I was working with and he's like, he's telling me he's there for like six years. And obviously these times I'm coming in and I'm like, I'm coming in with sliders, I got my laptop. I'm like, mm. I'm too comfortable here. Yeah. I was like, that yeah. can't be. Like, this is not, this is not me. Like, and man's talking about five, six years. I'm looking at myself like, not be <laughs> no disrespect to that person. No, no disrespect to that person. Story. Yeah, but it's just like, brother, that is not me. Mm. I can't do that. And um, especially the way I want to do and how I want my life to be, I can't make it happen. Mm. Just sitting here, do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so I was just like, cool. Um, thought, cool, let me start um, tailor shop. So, mum's got a tailor shop. Well, let me help her out a bit, mm. innit, do you know what I mean? So, I was like, cool, to help her out a bit. And then just like, just naturally just helping getting good reviews from customers and mm. that thinking okay mm. <laughs> do you know what I mean or snapped a few times here and then yeah. getting people come through like oh you're telling them to that yeah, just if you want to <laughs> you're still telling people there. There. <laughs> yeah if you want to just hit me up with it type thing cool get a few people I'm like alright cool so of course cool. so as my friends come around just saying like bro like you should like try to take this thing you mm. know what I mean like, I'm not saying, hmm, do you know what I mean? It's like, that's a, you know, when you hear things where you're just like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, yeah. so like, what, sorry, sorry to cut you, Romy. At that point, what mm. was like your, what was your reasons for, um, for not, still not wanting to do it? That's what I said. I was thinking of other people too much. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. That's what I said. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what you people think. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, because if I went with that route and cared what people thought, mm. I would, I don't know if where I'd be right now. Yeah, facts. You might not even have all of this. Don't think so. Like, don't think so. Because there's so much things that I've gone through in life that I've not cared about and it's showed I'm happy that I didn't care about it because of where I am now. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like, that's why I always push through that I don't care. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because especially if you know what you want, you're going to make it happen regardless. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah, going back. Yeah, so I was thinking, mm, I thought, cool, let me try a thing. So I thought, let me, if I'm going to do this, I need to brand myself. Do you know what mm. I mean? Because that's I that market mindset. Yeah. Still. So I thought, I thought cool. Um, Name myself the Hood Stayler. I thought, ah, cool, this kind of suits me. Like, Wait, but how did you come up with it? What, did you just <coughs> think of that straight away? No, because obviously my brothers were like, bro, like, you should do this thing, blah, blah, blah. Like, but I think one of my brothers were like, oh, I'm like, Hood Stayler, yeah. I'm mm. not too <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, there's the patterns. And I'm thinking, hmm, like, this is kind of making sense to mm, me. Like, mm, I kind of mm, like mm. that kind of name. So I was like, let me try it. it? So I brand myself, named the Hood Stayler people taking me and I'm like people message me people mm. like, oh, like this and that I'm thinking all right cool so um yeah I started pushing out a bit more then um yeah I'm starting getting DMs from people mm -hmm. I'm thinking okay this mm. is different yeah <laughs> this is different cool then I'm getting um I'm getting fucking oh it's hitting me up I'm thinking cool there's that I think most that was like the first I. Oh, Mm. Taylor for other people but he was like the first big artist that mm. I was like yeah that reached out this he reached out to me COVID times serious yeah and it was like cool when I saw that I was like thinking ah right, cool so from then it was just like 
it just spells out like, some most stacks. It was like Cardi Caprio, it was like Hax, it was like Renzi, mm. it was like Eddie Cap. Like, I'm just thinking, like, everyone's hitting me up. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone's hitting me up. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? And then it's like, at the same time, I'm getting people from the streets coming, mm. hitting, mess- like, I'm just like, raw. And then it's like, um, TikTok is a mad platform because what that really pushed the hood sailor out yeah. there. Because even my sister, my sister's telling me, I'll jump on TikTok. And how was your sister? Uh, she's twin. Oh, she's gonna cuss me right now. <laughs> okay, she's, she's, she's younger than you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, she's twenty. So, um, but flipping, yeah, I'm just thinking TikTok. Then it's like, mm, it's kind of a kiddish thing. I'm not really trying to jump on that type thing. But what? I posted a video on that. Crazy. You're viral. What? What? My message is afterwards. I was thinking, <laughs> yo, I can't take, I can't speak to this much people. <laughs> like, how am I going to respond to all of these DMs, bro? <laughs> like, what? Bro, I had people traveling three hours to come see me. You're chatting shit. Three hours, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm quite happy you what? said that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> because deep, a tailor is not something you would ever need to travel even more bro, than half an hour for, hours, especially if, if you're in London. What? So why do you think they travel for you? Bro, obviously... The reason I I see why this because it's like you're not really gonna find another tailor like me. Of course not. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like that is my unique selling because like you ain't gonna see another tailor like me. Mm. I know how the fashion is. Mm. I know how people style fit. I'm easy to chat to. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm doing good jobs. <laughs> and I've got I got yeah I've got things to show in it. So and if you can see me dealing with artists and everyone, so it's just like. I'm just Makes the go-to yeah. guy, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. yeah, and I'd be doing a lot of designer clothing as well. And that's what a lot of people are afraid of, designer clothing. Messing it up. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, when I'm getting people coming for three hours doing these distance, to me, I'm just that. Even people coming from south to east. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, till now, I still ask people where they come from. Because yeah. I really, I'm just trying to gather that, right? Yeah, like, like, how long are you really yeah. coming? <laughs> but, yeah. But it's like, I respect it, do you know what I mean? And then like, I value them more because it's like, yeah, I'm going to make sure I look after you as well because it's like, yeah. you're doing this to come to me because it's like, I'm taking it in store at the same time because yeah. it's like, right, like, that is a journey because yeah. I don't know if I would have done that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it just goes to show, to me, I like hearing stories like this as well because it's like, it just goes to show the power of yeah. branding, bro. Yeah. Because you were able to, and <coughs> that's why the brand stood out to me so much yeah. because it was so unique. Yeah. I'd literally never seen anything like it. Deep, yeah. man has been to proms and all of this yeah. shit. So man's needed tailors. Yeah. I've come across a hundred billion yeah. tailors, but I've never come across a hood yeah. tailor, bro. Yeah. Like, and still to this day, you're like the only one, bro. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> Only hood tailor, bro. Yeah. Like that's bad. So I think that's a lesson everyone yeah. can learn as well. Like, Crazy dog. first of all, if you it. got a talent, don't shy away from expressing it. 100%. When you learn how to express it, brand yourself if you can. Yeah, do you know bro. what I'm saying? And brand yourself in a way that's that's actually relevant to brand who you are. If you're gonna take it long, <laughs> if you're gonna do it as a long term, don't brand yourself and stop next year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's yeah, no yeah. point starting the brand. You There's must no have point. just done the thing and then kept it as that. Right. And how you long have you been doing it for now? Um, publicly. The Hood Sailor, four years. Four years, yeah. yeah. And what would you say? Six. What would you say I like? Because I have my, what's the word? My, my preconceived notions about mm. how it's impacted True V. Because mm. I look at it like, one thing I was saying at the beginning of the conversation as well, mm. one thing I love about the brand is how like equal it seems between like male and female. Yeah. And I think maybe that comes down to your understanding of yeah. women's clothing yeah. from being the tailor yeah. so would you say that's one of the the, the, the positives yeah. of having that hood tailor brand yeah. in terms of reflecting on true v yeah because i even there's still works i'm doing in between to get the two together but like even with that um some of the members know that if you get true v clothing do you have any free alterations I no way yeah, man. serious yeah man do you know what i mean i always try to link the two and it's like i've got pieces that I'm like literally doing for the his tailor that I'm doing the whole collection for Truby. Mm. So it's like literally patterns, cutting, everything, like a proper you can't see man, I'm working, man. You're I got working, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I got a lot coming yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah. I bought this hat, I could bring my wedding suit. <laughs> <to you. laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, you know, I no, that's crazy. I didn't even know you did yeah, that. Yeah, bro. I do I do a lot of things that like, just I don't public everything because I be always working. Mm. Especially the hold the tailoring. That it's a takes lot. a lot of my time. That takes a lot of my time. 
it's so mad and yeah it's mad because even now i still don't know how even though people just say yeah i'm bare out there and everything yeah. i myself don't even know how out there i am in terms in terms of how many people know like yeah mm. it's mad it's weird though because really and truly i'm not really out well i go out but if not i'm working mm. or i'm in my like in my environment or i'm either in the office or mm. i'm in the tailors so it's not like i'm out every day yeah. to be seen you're too so, busy to be out every yeah. day yeah so it's like I don't even know my full potential or whatever yeah, for real because <laughs> so I was going to ask Romeo like how long do you want to have like the Hoods Taylor brand for like and how does that coexist with, with Romeo V really and the Hoods Taylor do you know because they're like two different entities yeah. but they're also one it's weird but you know what I mean um, I actually long long vision that I have to complete I actually want to get like a building where I have a whole tailoring shop and a tree shop sick, in one building. Sick, sick. So it's just like, and it's just like a chilled spot as well. It's got like a bar. Like, yeah, sick. I'm giving you my gems. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm on. <laughs> but yeah, like, I thought for one, I have like a, you know, a spot where you can go to and it's mm. just chilled, like just a lounge, but like a, just different. Yeah. That's so interesting because that's like, Throughout this conversation, that's yeah. the different Romeos we've met. So yeah. we've met Uni Party Romeo. Yeah. <laughs> we've met Hood Taylor and yeah. then we've met Romeo V. So yeah. like that would be the one space to yeah. bring like everything, everything together. Yeah. That's sick. And remember I was telling you about the Cole Buxton documentary. Yeah. In their store in, um, I can't remember where it is, but it's in Central somewhere. Okay. They have like a little, I, call they, I think they call it the Atelier bit, okay. where they've got like, um, Cole has, what do you think, the sewing machine or whatever. Okay. And he actually like makes things from scratch kind okay. of thing and lets people try it on oh, and shit. Okay, okay, so yeah, yeah, them things are doable yeah. oh, still. Shit. I didn't even know this was already happening. Yeah, yeah, both yeah. them things are doable, man. So okay, can, yeah, yeah, but yeah, man, definitely, it's definitely something that's in the works. Yeah. But yeah, man, it's mad. Bro, like, this, honestly, Romeo, like, <laughs> it's just mad, bro. It's just mad interesting talking to you, bro, because yeah. you're a mysterious guy. Don't get me wrong, but like, yeah. man know you as well so yeah. you, you, i feel like and it's interesting you talk about you don't know how out there you are because mm -hmm. i feel like you've done a good job at striking a balance between being outside enough but also mm -hmm. being inside enough yeah. to work and yeah. and people still people feeling like they can reach you yeah. but also feeling like they don't know you because yeah. i do feel like i've had conversations like this before with other designers i do feel like it's important to be transparent yeah. but i do feel like there's also a bit of value in mystique as well yeah. i do hear that as well I don't know, man. I just you just do you. Just do me, man. I can. I'm only. I can only do what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean, I'm just me, man. Everyone has their ways of life in it, and this is just mine, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got a couple more questions to ask before we wrap up, yeah. though. Like, obviously, we're in the studio now, mm. and I'm seeing a lot of like women's wear stuff and that. Okay, I brought up um, how I like how equal the type the brand is. Like, mm. like what goes into like women's wear designing and. Why do you think you're good at it? Other than obviously the tailoring side of things. Um, I don't know, you know. I feel like I just see what I like. Type mm. thing. Like, I just see what I like. And if I like it, I'm just going to go for it type thing. Mm. And then, and especially if I can see it, a fit out of it, I can definitely go for it. Mm. Or if I can see a fit, I can see more than three fits out of it, then I'm, I know this is good to go because mm -hmm. at least someone can at least rock one fit to it so there shouldn't be a reason why you can't really purchase do you know what mm. I mean I try to think like that but at the same time I just sometimes just random I just be sitting down an idea will just pop up and I'm like oh, I like this shit mm. so I got drop this year. Yeah. Just, it just my life is just so random it's how my life's going it's how things are gonna go yeah, <laughs> it's, literally so it's, it's hard to even like predict yeah, it's so hard it's mm. so hard even to my new pieces it's like it's just mad. It's like, I would have never done that before. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, it's interesting because deep, you guys would have seen my reaction when I walked yeah. in and I'm seeing certain samples yeah. like, it's like, I didn't expect it, don't yeah. get me wrong, but like, it makes sense though. Yeah. It's you, coming, bro. It's, it's growing. It's the growth. It's just the growth. I had to get the brand awareness out there mm. and I really got to get the pop up. The design, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's like statement pieces as well. Facts. Do you know what I mean? It's a really statement. I'm really trying to make it stand out. And the only way I can make it stand out is if I do unique pieces as well at yeah. the same time. Do you know what I mean? So like most of the stuff I have there, it's like the big logos and stuff, it's more like brand awareness in it. So I already visioned this year, I'm going straight for brand awareness. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because that's, as long as people know it, so then when the next year comes, even if I do a piece where I might not even have the logo, or you know, if you know the yeah. name, or something, 
you know what it is and yeah. that's how it goes really and you mentioned this year and i think obviously we're recording mm. december mm. so now is a good time to kind of reflect mm. so like what would you say yeah what, what what's your feeling about how because from the outside looking in i think mm. this has been a great year for mm. you you've done some events you know mm. what i'm saying mm. that, that for me that the, the aesthetic has elevated mm. the community is growing yeah. you get what i'm saying like mm. it looks sick in it mm. so but obviously you're on the inside like yeah. so what's 2022 being like for you then <sighs> it's a crazy one it's been good still it's been good but it's been hard it's been hard and crazy at the same time like even at the start of the year, I don't expect to have this mm. office. So even having this is like rough. Do you know what I mean? But even so, it's just, it's still crazy because then it's, the work don't stop here. Mm. There's always more work or always something else that you have to do. So, but yeah, man, I feel like I've noticed I've got a good feel for the brand this year though, I must say. Because especially when I've done the summer pop-up, I've got a lot of people... Because I've done like an event bright um, where I've done t- um, tickets, but they were free tickets. But I was seeing that the people from even different countries were getting tickets, mm. buying tickets and stuff and that. I was thinking, what did like, From where? Like, uh, the mad countries. I can't even remember. Like, people from France. I saw I'm um, in Africa. Mm. I saw, like, I've seen different <laughs> countries. I'm just like, so they were even, they flew over like, for I was like, how do you even know about the brands? Like, mm. do you know what I mean? And even in the pop, I had people coming from different cities like Newcastle, uh, Manchester, like Birmingham. I'm just like, bro, you man are really trekking that. Mm. Like it's that's what I said. I don't even know how the brand, how big the brand is, which is mad. And that's the best thing about it, really. Mad, yeah. I just hope it just grows in it. Hundred <laughs> percent it will, bro, because yeah. you're doing everything to make it grow. Yeah. Like obviously, I, I'm literally seeing it grow in real yeah. time because I've known you from before I even knew yeah. you had Truvy. I've seen you in one spot. Now yeah. I've seen you in the next spot. Yeah. Next time we do another record, it's going to be, be in the next spot. spot. <laughs> 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 it's just going to keep getting bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, I'm excited for you. Yeah. And I also believe that you'll be able to keep the same feeling yeah, that the brand currently yeah. has. Because as I was saying before, when I see people wearing the brand, there's that camaraderie, do you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. that good vibe, the way it's yeah. like attached to the parties and stuff. So, yeah. bro, like, I can't lie to you, Romeo. Like, bro, it's, you're doing well, man. Like, it's it's, it's growing for it, real, man. bro. Like, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. Just hope the carries are going well. And yeah, man. Just keeping the good vibes. Thanks, bro. <laughs> so what can we expect? Um, 2023? I don't even know. That's how bad it is. <laughs> yeah. It's just how life's going. Really and truly, it's how life's going. But definitely, I'm still always going to try to keep consistent as I've been doing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's just trying to keep consistent, trying to see what makes sense. Um, just mad because I never really think ahead like that. Mm. I always like in the moment or I might plan if like there's an event or something. Like I've got a pop-up in Westfield, which come um, on the 17th. So... That's like a mad opportunity as well. It's Westworld Christmas period. Football's gonna be crazy. I mean, I don't even have to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> but like that as well. And then just like that's even more brand awareness. Do you know what I mean? And it's just like it's, and these are just opportunities just flying in. Cause then there'll be things. I'll be getting emails from people or people trying to work with me and just like and just like I would have never expected this. Yeah, like, are you shocked? Because, bro, even Romeo, as you're talking, me and you even need to speak off camera because yeah. the way you do events and stuff yeah, and that, like, yeah. I actually need to learn from yeah. you because we want to do events as well yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, like, yeah, like, the way you're able to make things happen, I find yeah. it so fascinating. Like, even with the Westwood pop-up. Yeah, yeah Westwood pop-up. Like, yeah. how did that end up even coming about? Just got emailed. Just Simple got, as that. Yeah, it's weird. It's mad. I, was, I didn't even believe it. I was thinking, oh, why are you emailing me? But yeah. they hit me up and I was like, okay. All right, let's, let's, let's do a thing in it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's nice. And yeah, man, I feel like events is what brings people together, man. Mm. And I really want, I really want to do one more pop up, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it by the end of the year. But I really want to do. Oh, you want to do one more pop up before the end of the, other than the Westfield one? Yeah, I feel like yeah, that's Westfield, but I want to mm. do um, the old yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah. what. That's what everyone knows, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm known for doing pop-ups. Well, I feel like I'm starting to get known yeah. a lot more for doing pop-ups and parties. So, and I feel like that's what's keeping the community and I'm able to kind of see the community on how it's grown. And yeah. What's, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Yeah, no, nah, for real, honestly, Romeo, big up you, bro. Like, it's been a sick convo as it always is. Yeah. Even off camera, it's funny as well, but you know, we have backs all the time. But, um, yeah, obviously, you've seen the other episodes and whatnot. Mm. This is my last question. Mm. If you could give, like, one piece of advice, um, any up-and-coming designer, anyone that mm. really wants to get into fashion, like, 
what would it be? Um, believe in your sauce, man. For real. <laughs> believe in your sauce. Um, believe in your sauce. Stay consistent. Consistent is very key. Mm. Network. 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 Because, <laughs> yeah, because there's even people now, because it's like, it's mad, because there's people that's having brands now, but can be in like a higher platform than I am now just mm. for networking. Do you know what I mean? Just mm. from the network that I've had. Because I've noticed there's a lot of brands that I probably see probably have way more followers than my brand and stuff. And they've literally come recently. But mm. I guess it's just how the game's going right now. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But it's just like, I feel like if you're able to network and have the right people around you, there's no reasons why you can't make things work. Really Facts. Truly. Facts. Yeah. And speaking of that, I like that advice, and I also like the way I feel like you don't really compare yourself to anyone else as well, man. I feel like when we've spoken off camera, like you're very, it's like you don't watch no one else. Yeah. You get it, like you just yeah. focus on the brand and anyone's achievements is their achievements. Big up yeah. them, but it's like it doesn't affect yeah. you, man. And I think I'm quite happy. At, I thought to mention that because like whatever you're doing is so easy to compare and it's so easy mm. to feel like, oh, I should have this amount of followers yeah, by this yeah, point and I should have done this by that point. By the end of the day, that's their story, not yeah, yours, isn't it? Yeah, mine's a different story. Like I said, all I can do is say from my side of the story, like, from my shoe, that like, everyone's shoe is different. You don't know, because everyone really puts in work because mm. even even this setup, <laughs> this is all behind, do you know what I mean? Yeah, behind closed damn. doors and all of that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's working in their own ways and trying to make things happen. So it's just... Just trying to make sure you actually make it happen and facts. just don't sleep on yourself. Facts, That's another facts, thing. Facts, 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 don't facts, sleep on yourself. Facts, <laughs> don't very, sleep on yourself. It's very easy to sleep on yourself. Your <laughs> don't sleep on yourself. Do not sleep on yourself. Facts, facts, facts. But um, yeah, Romeo. Yeah. My okay, brother. Always. Before we fully wrap up, um, obviously you just gotta let them know where to find you, and whatnot. Just look into that camera. Right. Um, there's a lot of places you can find me. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's the Hoods Taylor there's Taylor and Services probably the best about right now you know the Hoods Taylor on the gram and True V True V is T-R-U-E-V-I-E for those that don't know and yeah man Snapchat oh Snapchat what about Snapchat <laughs> <laughs> This guy Snapchat. Uh, Don't worry, I'll leak it. I'll leak it. I'll leak it. You buy my Snapchat. But obviously, people, um, you know where to find us. Um, WMTV underscore LDN um, on Instagram. <laughs> obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, you've already found us. You can hear us on Spotify, Apple Music. Um, and don't sleep on these guys. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, we're coming, you know. <laughs> 2023 is soon, you know. A hey. different vibe. We're coming, but. As I always say, thank you for listening and keep it locked. If you ever want to take in future episodes on the go, you can also find us on Apple Music and Spotify. When you get there, please, if you don't mind, leave us a five-star review and whatnot. It would definitely help. And yeah, as I always say, keep it locked.